Hi everybody, Mike Freeman from AI Technology and Design back with another day of technology in our 30 days of technology series. Today we're going to be talking about lighting control from our friends at Lutron, specifically their Caseta wireless solution. And it's a great solution that can be used in literally any type of home. Lutron literally invented the category of automated lighting and dimming your lighting switches. They literally invented the rotary dimmer that changed everything about how we control the lighting in our home. They've continued to build upon that and I think it's safe to say they are the worldwide leaders in automation and lighting. Now they have a variety of different ecosystems. We're going to be talking about Caseta today, but there's different levels. Caseta is a great solution for homes where we're talking 50 or 60 zones of lighting control at most, some blinds and a few things like that. But when we get to higher levels, it has to do with capability, integration and coverage. So there are diff additional levels. There's Radio Raw, there's Homeworks and there's even Ketra. So it really depends on what level of investment you have and what you're looking to do in your home. Caseta is designed to be done by anybody. So you don't need to be a programmer or have a login from Lutron to be able to set it up. Whereas the other ecosystems do require some external help. Caseta is easy. You simply download the app, add the switches or the plugs anywhere you want, and that's it. You've automated your home. And at about $90 a switch, it is incredibly easy. You need to buy a bridge to get started. That's how the light switches talk to the internet. And you need to buy light switches. But as a rule of thumb, I, I can tell you quite comfortably, you can do 10 rooms of your house with lighting control for about a thousand Canadian dollars. So very inexpensive, but it's not just the switches or the plugs for your labs. They also make a variety of controls called Picos. And these beautiful little Picos can do things like turn any light switch into a three, four, or five way switch. You can put them up anywhere where you wish you had a light switch and now you do. But you can also buy other pieces of the Pico equation. You can buy controllers for your fan and for your blinds. And you can even get a little controller that runs your Sono system. So what's great about Lutron is it's not just great lighting control, it's a very simplistic automation and control for your entire home. And for a lot of people, it's probably all they're ever gonna need. All right, so you don't need to do anything to these light switches once you've installed them to use them. They work just like any other light switch out of the box. On, off, full dimmer functions, no issues there. Now, we definitely encourage you to add all the components you need to automate all of this, but as an example, if you're part of my parents' generation, you're not necessarily programmed to think to open an app or use voice control to turn on and off your lights. So they like to manually interface with devices in their house so they can walk up to it and turn the lights on or turn the lights off, usually the lights off in their case, no issues whatsoever. I wanna tell you about a really cool feature of the Lutron ecosystem. Their switches can be installed to replace your existing switches, like the ones behind me, easily. There's no programming required, you simply replace the wires and you have a great quality dimmer switch that you can turn your lights on and off with. The real magic is when you add the hub, or as it used to be called, the bridge. Now, what this does is it connects to your router and it essentially takes the smart ecosystem of Lutron and makes it live and all connected with each other. So this literally ties all of your switches together, which gives you the ability to remotely operate them using an app or voice control. And as a third advantage, this unit also allows you to integrate Lutron products with other brands like Control4, Crestron, and Savant. And lastly, because Lutron understands that not everyone has high quality Wi-Fi and wireless in their home, the bridges or hubs also work as repeaters. So if you are having range issues in a larger home, say, you can put them throughout your home and solve that problem. 
they're very cost effective. They're very easy to set up. You literally plug them in and put them in your router with an ethernet patch cable and that's it, you're done. So very simple and very flexible. That means that if you put a bunch of Lutron switches in and you don't get around to programming them for a month or so, no problem. You're not sitting around the dark. You're just not using your phone to control them. Lutron Caseta switches have got to be some of the easiest elements to add to your home. All you do is pick an existing light switch that you want to replace. Now, the first thing you have to do is turn off the power. You have to do this. Once you've done that, you simply remove the wires that are wired to the current switch, add the Lutron switch, replace the wires where they were on the original switch, screw it back into the wall, and boom, you've just added a Lutron switch to your house. And if the part about electricity scares you, not a big deal. There are these wonderful people called electricians, and they're used to working with electricity every day. They're certified, they're insured, they're qualified, and it offers great peace of mind. So just because it's a do-it-yourself product to program doesn't mean there's any shame in calling in a professional or an expert to help sure, make sure that everything's wired properly. Because remember, if you dabble in plumbing and screw up, you flood your basement. If you dabble in electricity and screw up, you burn down your house. That's the only warning I have. However, if you're already comfortable installing a switch, you will find this one of the easiest solutions to add to your home. One of the things I really like about the Lutron ecosystem is how nicely it plays well with others. Not all smart home and automation devices are super friendly to work with. In fact, one of the biggest challenges we face in our industry is getting different products from different ecosystems and different brands to work together. That's why things like Apple HomeKit, Alexa, and Google are so important because they're an umbrella that you can put all these different products and operate them using common software. So what I really love is adding Google or Apple or Alexa with Lutron because now you can say things like turn off all the lights on the main floor, turn on the exterior lights, as well as things like good morning or good night where you turn everything on or off depending on what time of day it is. So adding these things makes a huge amount of difference. And the other thing I really like is there are some additional hardware products like Sonos that really play nicely with the Lutron app as well. So this app is basically entry level, entry level automation without having to put a lot of external stuff on there. So if you put Sonos and Lutron lights and blinds in there, you have a connected smart home that you can easily automate with the Lutron app very, very effective way to do it as well. So one of the big things that you definitely want to do is before you start picking out which switches and which hardware you're going to use in your home is figuring out what your home can support. So what I mean by that is certain types of lights can't be dim. You can't easily dim fluorescent lights. So you want to get a specific dimmer for that. Or if you have low voltage lights, um, they're a little bit harder to control as well. But the other consideration that you want to have is what kind of wiring is in your home. So if you have a newer home, they're typically made with a neutral wire, which is a white wire that uh, connects to another wire in the box. Older homes don't have that, but Lutron products usually have the neutral wire built in. You want to check this before you start buying switches and plugs though, because the last thing you want to do is try to make something work that isn't designed to work in your home. If you have questions about this or you're confused about this, the best person to talk to is about an electrician. They know a ton about electricity and they can tell you what kind of wires you have and what you might need to support that as well. So, as you can imagine in my day-to-day -day work life, I have a lot of conversations about technology with people and what they want to invest in. And one of the things we always have to justify is our decisions to people. Because remember, we're helping them spend their money. So we want to make sure we justify every suggestion we make for them. So they ask us repeatedly, is Lutron worth the investment? And my answer is unequivocally yes. And I want to explain to you why I think that's the case. And there are two different headings that I'm thinking about. The first is electrical and resource savings. Simply put, a managed 
automated lighting control system uses way less power than a traditional old fashioned dumb electrical system. And there is tons of data to back this up. So from that point of view, it's a win. But the other point of view has to do with peace of mind and safety. So you never have to come home to a dark house again because Lutron has geofencing technology built into their system. So you could tell it that when my phone is within say 100 meters of the house, turn on the exterior lights and turn on the lights in the first floor. But there's other things as well. If you're laying in bed at night and you hear a bump outside, maybe it's just the wind or how well, do you know? So what you can do is you can actually turn on all your Lutron lights outside and all your exterior lights. And I guarantee if someone's out there poking around, they'll be gone pretty quick. Um, the last thing I really, really like about it is how it automates your lighting as well. So when I was a kid, we had an exterior lighting timer because we used to travel in the summers and stuff like that. And I vividly remember dad would set it for 9 p.m. And it would come on an hour before dark in June, but it wouldn't come on till way after dark in the fall. So the problem is, is dusk changes day to day and season to season. What Lutron lets you do is set the timer based on terrestrial dusk, which might be different time now than say in the middle of the summer. So that's really neat because your lights can come on 10 minutes before terrestrial dusk and it gives your house what we call that lived in look, which is what you want. You want people assessing whether they wanna come into your property when you're not there. And if they look at it and go, nope, it's lived in, they'll go elsewhere and that's what you want. You don't want anything other than a deterrent and that's one really great thing that Lutron offers you. So from a comfort of living in your house point of view, absolutely. From a resource point of view, absolutely. And from a safety and peace of mind perspective, absolutely worth every penny you invest. It's a great ecosystem, it works really well, it's incredibly reliable, and one of the things I always look for is what's the customer support like? Well, Lutron employs some of the nicest people I've met, and they have some of the best customer support that I've ever heard of in this industry. So you can rest assured that when you get into this ecosystem, it is totally worth it, and it will continue to be worth it years from now.